assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to my youtube channel math expert students if you are new here please do subscribe my youtube channel click the bell icon and uh, if you have any question related to these topic you can send us via email in the comment section we will solve and send you the link uh, comment uh, email is given in the description of this video today we have a problem like we have y of uh, we have a fun, uh, first order differential equation y prime of t plus y plus y is equal to f of t and here we have f of t is a piece wise continuous function which is equal to uh, zero and uh, zero is in this interval zero is less than t is less than or equal to y uh, not less than but we have only here mm, le less than or equal to we have only less than and the second piece is uh, three cos of t, three cos of t, which is equal to t, t is greater than or equal to phi. And one thing we have y of zero is equal to uh, phi. So uh, now we want to solve this by using Laplace transform. Solve by using by using Laplace transform. Okay, uh, so we uh, want to apply Laplace transform in this solve. So we apply Laplace transform of y prime plus y is equal to Laplace transform of f of t. Okay, uh, so by using the linear property, we can apply Laplace transform of both sides. Laplace transform of y prime, Laplace transform of y is equal to Laplace transform of f of t. Now, students, f of t is equal to this piecewise continuous function. So uh, here we have f of t is equal to f of t is equal to zero, and the say zero is at zero is less than or equal to t. T is less than pi, and then we have three cos of t, three cos of t, which is t is greater than or equal to pi. These are the two pieces of this uh, piecewise continuous function. So uh, we convert this. Uh, here I can write here, we convert this in compact form, in compact form. Uh, for this, uh, we use here, for example, we are given a function and we want to convert this in the compact form. Uh, this is a piecewise continuous function and we want to convert this in a compact form. We write this f of t is equal to f of t is equal to zero u of t minus zero minus u of t minus pi. Okay, students, plus three cos of t, and then we have u of t minus pi. Okay, this is uh, multiplying with zero, so we get zero plus three cos of t into u of t minus pi. So finally, we get 3 cos of t and u of t minus pi. This is equal to f of t. This is the compact form of this piecewise continuous function. We cannot apply Laplace transform directly to the piecewise continuous function. We convert this piecewise function to a compact form and then apply Laplace transform on this. So we apply the Laplace transform on y prime plus Laplace transform on y is equal to Laplace transform on f of t. So we get three cos of t u of t minus y. So Laplace transform of y prime is equal to s capital Y of s minus y of zero plus Laplace of y is equal to capital Y of s is equal to three S divided by S ka square plus one is the Laplace transform of cos of t and Laplace transform of u of t minus a is equal to e raised to power minus pi s. Okay, students. So now uh, we simplify this. Our last equation is y of s minus y of zero. And then I have plus capital Y of s is equal to 3s divided by s square plus 1 
e raised to power minus pi s. So if I take y of s as a common here, this is equal to s plus one minus y of zero. Uh, y of zero is given here by initial condition. Y of zero is equal to five. So I use here five is equal to three s divided by s cos square plus one e raised to power minus pi of s. So we get again dividing by this five divided by s plus one plus three s divided by s plus one into s cos square plus one e raised to power minus pi s. So we have y of s and we need small y of t. So we apply the inverse Laplace on both sides. So inverse Laplace on this function, which is equal to y of s, okay. Inverse Laplace on this, five divided by s plus one plus three s, uh, sorry, we apply the inverse Laplace on this function. Inverse Laplace on three s divided by s plus one into s cos square plus one e raised to power minus pi of s. Okay, so this is equal to y of t is equal to five inverse Laplace of one divided by s plus one plus three inverse Laplace on s divided by s plus one into s cos square plus one, and then we have e raised to power minus pi of s. Okay, friends. Now, uh, here you can see that in the last term we have s, and then in denominator we have s plus one, s cos square plus one in the denominator. So s cos square in, into s, which is equal to s cos cube, so it is an improper fraction. So using partial fraction, using partial fraction okay so we have s divided by s cos square plus one into s plus one which is equal to a s plus b over s cos square plus one plus c divided by s plus one so finally we get a s is equal to a s plus b into s plus one plus c into s cos square plus one. So let we put let we put s is equal to minus one. So we got minus one is equal to a s plus b into zero plus uh, c into one plus one. So we got minus one is equal to zero plus two c. C is equal to minus one by two. So this is the value of our first constant, which is equal to uh, C is equal to minus one, minus one by two. And similarly, uh, similarly, we take uh, A is equal to, A is equal to one by two, and B is equal to, B is equal to one by two. So finally, we get all the values of these constant. We now use these in the partial fraction. So now, uh, now we have, it's mean S divided by S cos square plus one into S plus one is equal to uh, one by two into S plus one divided by S cos square plus one and we have minus one by two into one divided by S plus one. Okay, students. Now it's mean that we can write this in this form, one by two into S divided by S cos square plus one plus one divided by S cos square plus one. And then I have minus one by two into one divided by S plus one. So it's mean that y of t is equal to y of t is equal to we apply here minus five laplace inverse of we have five is equal to five laplace inverse of one divided by 
s plus one, s plus one, and then I have minus three by two inverse Laplace of s divided by s cos square plus one. Then I have minus three by two inverse Laplace of one divided by s cos square plus one. Then I have minus three by two, and uh, we have one divided by s plus one. And finally, uh, one thing remain left, which is e raised to power minus pi s. So we multiplied each of this term with uh, e raised to power minus pi s, e raised to power minus pi s, okay? And here we have e raised to power minus pi s. So it is multiplying with all these three terms. So we have five Laplace inverse of one by s plus one. So you know that this is equal to e raised to power minus a. So a is equal to one. So this is equal to five e raised to power minus t minus three by two. This is equal to s divided by s square plus one. So you know that this is equal to cos of kt and at the place of cos uh, k we have one cos of t and then we have u of t minus a u of t minus a uh, u of t minus pi u of t minus u of t minus pi so then we have three by two laplace inverse of one divided by s square plus one this is equal to sine of kt at the place of k, we have one. So we write sine of t and dot u of t minus pi. Okay. At the end, we have three by two and one divided by s plus one. This is equal to e raised to power, uh, e raised to power a t at the place of a, we have one. So minus of t and e raised to power. And finally, u of not a, we have u of t minus pi, u of t minus pi. Okay, students. Now, uh, our final solution will be of the form y of t is equal to y of t is equal to 5 e raised to power minus of t plus 3 by 2 e raised to power e raised to power minus of t minus pi u of t minus by, then I have minus three by two sine of sine of t minus pi u of t minus pi and then I have minus three by two cos of t minus pi u of t minus pi. So we just uh, write this in the periodic form. So if I want to write in the uh, piecewise function, so we write this piece is like five e raised to power minus of t when zero is less than t is less than pi. And then the other pieces, we have five e raised to power minus of t plus three by two e raised to power minus of t minus pi. And we have plus three by two sine of t plus three by two cos of t, t is greater than or equal to pi. Because here we have, when uh, t is odd size of this uh, domain, we have zero, and in this domain we have one. So we replace the unit step function by this uh, form. Friends, if you are new here, please do subscribe my YouTube channel, click the bell icon. And if you have any question, you can send us, us anytime by using email. Email is given the video description, and uh, you can send us in the comment section, or we will solve and send to you. Thank you.